Mandarin Chinese is a challenging but rewarding language. Learning this ancient language requires many practice and preparations. My name is Vienna Lu, and I'm here to help you learn Chinese. Welcome to Learn How to Chinese. Huan Ying. Today, I'm going to teach you four Chinese characters based on the Pinyin initials you learned from me last time, which is Bo, Po, Mo, Fu. My goal is to help you understand Pinyin that guides you to the correct pronunciation in Mandarin. At the end, you will take a quiz to finish this lesson. The first word I'm gonna teach you is B, meaning currency. Remember this initial, Bo, Bo. When you place Bo in front of a final, Yi. It becomes B, 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 B. And the word we are learning today is using the fourth tone. B, 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 B. Congratulations! You just learned your first word by using Chinese pinyin. Back to the word currency. Many of you know Chinese currency is called RMB. RMB is an acronym which stands for Renminbi. Renminbi. Renmin means citizen, and of course, B means currency. Again, the initial Bo and a final Yi get you to the syllable B, and it's on the fourth tone B B. B, B, B. Did you know that a type of traditional one-piece dress was very popular in Shanghai in the 1920s? If you're a female, you may have worn one before. A Chinese gown is called qi pao, qi pao. The word pao means gown, and it's made up of the initial. Po and the final ao, so use the same pinyin technique. Po ao, pao, po ao, pao. It used the second tone, so pao, 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 pao. So it is pao, pao. What do you think of these traditional dresses? Don't they look elegant and pretty? Many foreigners like to buy qi pao as a souvenir when visiting China. The next word is a type of food that Chinese people have fallen in love with, starting thousands of years ago. It's made of flour. Yes, it's noodles. Mian tiao, mian tiao. The word mian. It's made up of the initial, mo, and the final, yen. So, the syllable is, mo yen, mian, mo yen, mian, 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 mian. Is mian. The word mian can be used alone instead of. Mian tiao, in many situations, and Chinese people will still understand it. Noodle soup is my favorite, and a bowl of noodle soup is a common breakfast in China. It really reflects Chinese people's eating habits, that having to eat something warm in the morning is preferred. The last word I'm gonna teach you today is fan, meaning rice, with the initial. Four, and the final, an. You read it, for an fan, for an fan. This word used the fourth tone, so fan, 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 fan. As many of you already know, fan is the main meal for Chinese people. It gives them the energy to stay active throughout the day. But to many Chinese people. Rice is more than that. 
we would rather have plain rice than flavorless dishes if we really have to make a choice. Why? Because Chinese people don't like an empty feeling in their stomachs. Rice and noodles can fulfill our need of feeling full, and most dishes do not provide this kind of satisfaction, no matter how tasty they are. At least in our opinion. Congratulations! You have learned so much today. Now it's time to take our opinion quiz. Let's see how much you remember.